you were the OG paparazzi to get attacked by Kanye West back in the day. Is that right? <laughs> That's, right. Gonna... That's right. That's <laughs> right. I am trying to because I I remember, but like walk us through what what happened, what was that like when you get attacked by Kanye West? Like what is going through your mind? It, it was so surreal because I, until then I had had really good relationships with everybody, you know. And working at the airport, you try to be really friendly and respectful and nice of all the celebrities because you know they're going to travel a lot, so you want to be on their better side. So that morning uh, I had an assignment. And I was supposed to go shoot something else. The guy didn't show up. <clears throat> Just went to American Airlines to, to wait. You know, a, a lot of celebrities came through there. And somebody said, that, that's Kanye West down there. I, I actually didn't know who he was at the time. Uh, and then <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, all right, see, what is he? A musician. Okay, I'll get the video. You know, boss will dig it. And I was with my brother who was doing still photography for a different company. And so he rolled up and said, Hey, good morning, Kanye. And that was it. It just kicked off. Um, they grabbed his stuff. They smashed his camera. Then they ran up the stairs. And all of a sudden, I'm at the top of the stairs, and I've got the TMZ camera, and Kanye is on it, and his manager is on it. And I'm yelling for the police. And, and they said, you know, there, there's no police coming. And, uh, you know, it was a big struggle. Then my brother ran up and got into the melee. And uh, as soon as the police turned the corner, I let go of the camera. They smashed the TMZ camera. And, uh, you know, I just remember thinking this is crazy because, you know, we, we never really fight back. We get attacked a lot, but we don't fight back. Um, you know, we were at the top of the stairs. Those guys could have easily tumbled down a bunch of, you know, uh, concrete stairs and really hurt themselves. You're trying to, you know, to manage the situations usually. Um, but I was just like, what is happening? You know, and then the cops grabbed him and <clears throat> by the back of the neck and like slammed him into the, the wall and cuffed him and... I was just like, this is surreal. But at first, they let him go through security. <laughs> he was on his flight to Hawaii. <laughs> then they, we, you know, we decided to go out, you know, to press charges. So he came back. But it was just surreal. Like I had never had that much, you know, um, uh, aggression face, you know, like that. Yeah, it was my first first time uh, meeting him. <laughs> so Dang. memorable. You pressed charges though. You said right. Well, you know, uh, my brother did uh, for the injuries and for his camera and stuff. Uh, I didn't. Um, as a matter of fact. Uh, a little known version of the story is that TMZ's lawyer and executive producer actually wrote a letter to the judge uh, asking for all the charges against Kanye to be dropped on my behalf. And I was asked to sign that letter. When I would not sign the letter, they basically let me go uh, within a few weeks after that. They wanted to keep a good relationship with him. And I, you know, uh, at that point, I knew I was kind of, it was over anyway. So <laughs> I did not know that. I did. Wow. That is wow. the first time I've ever heard that story. You ran into Kanye after that experience. Did you run into Kanye at all after that experience? It's really funny. Actually, the only time I saw him after that was right after he was on uh, Saturday Night Live. And it was, a, I guess, a controversial performance. I think he did terribly or something. And so all the guys were waiting for him. And I thought, oh, gosh, I don't, <laughs> don't want to be here. I don't want to do this, this video. And then he came down the stairs. And, of course, all the guys were like, hey, that's the guy you attacked. And. And um, he went over and he shook hands with my brother. He hugged my brother's girlfriend <laughs> who had been there at the, the same time, too. So I think, you know, in a way he learned to to kind of manage it. But, yeah, that was the second time I saw him. And I, I think the last time as well. Oh, we, uh, we, we've also talked about on the podcast before, like Kanye is one of those celebs that you never know what you're going to get that day. You're If you're going to get mean Kanye, if you're yeah. going to get, I don't want to talk Kanye, if you're going to get, I want to talk Kanye, like you just, you never really know. So I'm not surprised to hear at all that, you know, he can attack one day and then the next day come over and give hugs out. And, you know, I, I, I didn't realize it till the second attack, but he seems to, to know that it'll bring him attention. And I've noticed that he does it right before he drops an album. So he did it with us and he did it with uh, the second attack at LAX um, was also right before his album came out. So and it's true. You just don't know what's going to happen with the guy. He's a total variable. I have to say, uh, always, always enjoy his music and his work. And, you know, he's he's out there. But, uh, you know, the Kanye West thing, your brother, how did that suit end? Did they wound up paying for the camera or no? They did. Uh, they settled. Uh, and as a matter of fact, Kanye put my brother in one of his songs afterwards where he talks about breaking a photographer's arm and having to pay him. And it's, it's actually became a lyric. <laughs> in I mean, one did of the he songs. actually break your brother's arm, though? 
he, uh, they ended up through the struggle. He ended up hurting his shoulder. Um, I, I want to say, I don't know if it was dislocated or, or what the, the deal was, but it was, um, he had to go to like physical therapy after that. And he could actually never work shooting uh, after that event. So that was his, that was his last time. And that morning before I went to work, um, my ex-wife had a kidney uh, issue and I had to take her to the hospital. And I was like, I'll be right back. I just got to run to the airport, ran to the airport. Then the next thing I knew, my brother was at the same hospital. <laughs> they were in the same, uh, the, the same waiting ER area. So, um, yeah, we had a whole, a whole family down there for, for that morning. 